Consider the weight. That's the first consideration that you want to look at when hanging your signs. Or, or hanging anything for that matter. Um, I... Hello, this is Henry with Woodworking by LPI. Welcome back to our channel and our wood, uh, wood sign series on woodworking tools, tips, and innovations. And hopefully from a beginner novice perspective, um, help out uh, you in making your decisions and giving you some more of the tips and tricks uh, or more inside information uh, before you make some decisions on your wood shop. Um, so hopefully these videos are helpful. If you get a chance, go to our homepage and look at the other videos that we offer on other tools and innovations and tips and tricks. So what are we talking about today? Well, today we're going to talk about hanging signs, okay? Um, in, in our business, we do a lot of sign carving and we sell a lot of signs. So you get your, you get your sign, your sign home or you get it delivered to you. Yes, I just happened to pick this one. <laughs> um, you get your sign and then you want to know how to hang it. Well, I don't, I don't mount the, uh, the hangers on. I send them with, with the product because I'm really not certain as to how the customer wants to hang their sign. Um, and I know some folks, uh, they like uh, to, uh, who sell their wood signs on, on Etsy, they like to um, put their, uh, their hanging material on, okay? Um, but since I, I'm not really sure if somebody's gonna hang it at an angle or somebody's gonna hang it uh, uh, outside, inside, I, you know, what I do is when I send our signs is uh, we send the material like this in a baggie and we have them mount them themselves, okay? Making it a little easier for them to make a choice as to how they wanna do it. But you know, it occurred to me that um, maybe if I make a video as to how you hang them, it might help out. So, um, here we are. <laughs> okay, um, and, I, and I realized that it's, um, it seems to be kind of a simple thing, but you know, it's, it's, it's important, okay? So, I wanna make a short video on, on hanging um, what we provide and some of the tips and tricks as to how you can do that. Um, so when you're considering hanging something, um, specifically the, from our case, the, the wood sign, but it applies to pretty much anything. Um, this sign here weighs about three pounds. Um, some of the signs that we do, which are the 24 inch, this is an 18 inch, uh, this direction, uh, they can weigh up to four or five pounds, depending on the density of the wood, okay? So when you mount this on the wall, obviously it's a keepsake and it's important to you because a lot of the signs we do are anniversary signs, um, or personalization, I should say. Um, and it makes sense to, uh, to make sure that they stay on the wall, obviously. <laughs> um, which is not a good thing if they fall off the wall. So you want to make a couple considerations. One, you want to consider, you know, uh, the fact that you want to display it in a personalized manner, however you want to do it. Um, in your home or out, uh, inside or outside, interior or exterior. Um, and you wanna make sure you use the right things to hang it with. Um, I get a lot of questions back from customers on that um, with regard to hanging them. Um, so, like I said, this one here is about three and a half pounds. Um, then the bigger ones are close to five pounds, depending on the density of wood, as I mentioned. So, we supply what they call saw tubes here with two screws. Um, we went to the screws because the screws were easier to put in than the nails. Um, after getting feedback from our customers, we thought it would be simpler to use the screws because everybody's into you know, using a drill and putting these in. And it made a lot more sense. So we went to the screws. So obviously when you hang this, let's talk about the interior first. Okay, interior, you're typically gonna have your, your drywall. Okay, on a rare occasion, you might have uh, plaster or, or stucco inside uh, for your for material on the wall. Um, so majority of the time, it's going to be drywall. So um, with this being about three pounds, um, you really don't need to like anchor it in with a, with a logger bolt into a stud, um, but it's better, of course, if you find a stud. Um, <laughs> and you put, you know, your nail or your screw into the wall, you know, uh, to hang it from. Um, I'm not going to get into that so much, but I will get into the hangers on the, the sign itself. Okay, so I'm going to talk about three different methods. I'm going to talk about the, the saw tooth, and I'm going to talk about the D-ring, and then I'm going to talk about a cleat. And it's kind of a neat word, cleat. Um, so 
The generic one, as you see, I've marked on here, you know, the weight. And the weight's the biggest consideration when you're hanging something. Um, this saw tooth here will hang handle, and it's got two screws on it, as I mentioned. You know, you can see that it comes in there with two screws. And we package this into the sign when we send it out. Um, and it handles up to 10 pounds. Um, you don't want to overdo the weight on this hanger because obviously it will fall off. And I, of course, you don't want somebody hurt because if it should fall on you, you know, that, that probably wouldn't be good. Um, so consider the weight. That's the first consideration that you want to look at when hanging your signs or, or hanging anything for that matter. Um, I like to use these uh, because it just, it just makes more sense. It's simpler for the customer. Um, you can also do twine and you can use wood. Um, with uh, screws in each side um, hanging it up. Um, a little more complicated, um, but depending on your opinion as to whether or not it would be easier to hang. So let's look at the, the sawtooth one first. So the sawtooth one, as you can see, has teeth, so you can adjust it depending on where you put it in the sign. So you're gonna wanna put it in the center. You wanna measure the width of it, which is typically in our case, we, uh, we call them 12 inch signs, but you're actually about 11 and a half to, uh, uh, 11 and a quarter rather to 11 and a half wide. And you wanna mark the center of the, the sign on the back, okay? And then once you do that, you wanna put it down about an inch from the top. Now on a vertical sign like this, you're only gonna use one of one of these hangers. But on a horizontal sign, so say for example, I was to take it and put it this way, you're gonna to wanna to use two, one over here and one over here. You wanna do it about three inches in on each side at the minimum. You can put them in probably a little further, but about three inches in on each side and about an inch down. And when we have a horizontal sign, which is that direction, uh, we offer or we ship two of these so you can put them in yourself. So. It's going to handle about 10 pounds, and that's the direction we typically go. If we, we have a, a, a customized sign that we send out, which is a little heavier, we don't go with the saw tooth. We go with what they call a D-ring. Now, the D-ring can handle, as you can see here, I wrote on here, the D-ring can handle up to about 20 pounds. And, you know, it's interesting to note that, that 20 pounds. Now, I always go overboard on things. So, um, I buy these in bulk. Um, all the D-rings, and, and if you want, I'll go ahead and put this down in uh, the description to uh, to show you as to you know where I get them from. You can get them in bulk from Amazon, and they're not really that uh, that expensive. So, um, but the D-ring is something that I put on. Uh, I used to sell boxes, customized uh, boxes, uh, keepsake boxes, and if you wanted the option to hang it on the wall, um, the D-ring is what I would offer. Um, so, because it handles up to 20 pounds, and the box was somewhere in the realm of 10 pounds but I always like to go a little overkill on it because I don't want it coming off the wall, like I said. Um, <clears throat> so those are the two basic options that I offer when hanging a sign. Now, you can hang it flush with the wall or you can hang it angled out from the wall. Typically, if you do the twine or you do the rope, it's gonna hang out from the wall. So consider that when you're, when you're hanging it. So what I'm saying basically is if this is your wall, when you're hanging it on the side uh, with a, the hanger, it's going to be out just a hair. But if you hang it with twine or you hang it with rope, it's going to be out further. And I hope you know what I mean by that. Okay, it's going to hang out further. So it's going to have a little bit of an angle, you know, downward angle to it. Um, that's a consideration if you like to display it that way as well. So um, before we go to the cleat, these are the most of the things that you consider inside or the interior of your home, depending on where you want to display it. Now, if you, um, or display your, your sign, or you know, if you want to go outside, there are things to consider as well. If you're hanging it on a brick or mortar, brick and mortar type scenario, you want to drill into the mortar and put in, you know, basically like you do in drywall, you know, you're going to put that grommet inside there and then you go put the screw inside to hang it from. Um, so when you're looking at brick, you want to drill in the mortar and then put your grommet in and put your screw in, and then you want to hang it from that. We've had a lot of folks do that with uh, with a lot of the rental properties that uh, folks do, where we've created a custom sign for that rental property. Um, so consideration uh, when you're hanging outside is, obviously you want to sign sealed with more of a, um, uh, a sealer that would stand up to the weather. Uh, we typically use a polyurethane. Um, in that case, um, it will last about a year, uh, depending on the exposure to sun. But do you want it flush with the, getting back to the hanging, uh, do you want it flush with the brick or do you not want it flush? Well, 
how much water is getting to that sign. Um, if it's flush, obviously it's going to be more to the back and side of the sign. If it's sealed very well, like I said, it'll last about six months to a year. Um, and if, if it's hanging out, it's going to be more exposure. And I know that seems like such a little thing, but it's, it's a consideration when you're looking at the sign from a hanging perspective. So if you're hanging with twine, it's going to hang out. If you're going to use one of these here, it's going to be more back toward the face of the brick. I hope this is making sense. I, I don't want to you know, gloss over this too quickly. Um, because I'm wanting you to understand where I'm coming from with regard to your hanging options. That, that's, that's really what it comes down to. It's a simple, I wanted to create a simple video from the perspective of hanging options. And you can hang on anything. Of course you can hang, I've had customers hanging on fence, on side, uh, siding, on brick, uh, stucco, um, all on the outside. Okay, so um, let's look at something you might want to hang heavier. So. A cleat design is a 45 by 45 cut, okay? And that's basically what you do, okay? You're gonna create these, and then you're gonna put this on the back side of the sign, and then you're gonna put those together. Now that makes a lot of sense, right? So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right. And a lot of folks use this for like headboards, you know, when you put a uh, bed together and you have a headboard that hangs on a wall as opposed to setting up on feet. Um, so I'm going to take this is the example of the wall, okay, the flat side. And then I'm gonna put this on here. And I'm sorry for the loud noise. And just gonna use a couple, a couple wood screws. I mean, it's something very simple. Okay, so if this is your wall and this is your cleat, see the 45 degree angle? So basically you're going to take a piece of wood, a flat piece of wood, and you're going to cut it at a 45 degree angle. See how this matches up? All right. And then you would mount this to your sign. And once you mount that to your sign on the back, you want to put it the opposite direction. So I'm not going to mount this, but if you want to put this on like that, sorry, <laughs> if you want to put it like that, you're going to see that when it matches up to here, okay, so I'm going to take the sign away, but I hope you get the idea of what I'm talking about there. All right, I'm going to put that over there. Hopefully you can see that. So you're going to put this on the back of your back of your, uh, your, your sign or back of your piece or whatever's heavier, and this will hold up to 75 pounds, okay? So excellent idea uh, if you're wanting to hold something heavier. And you're going to mount this, and then you're going to take that and you're going to put it in like so. So, if whatever you're holding on to is like so, mounted to the top piece of wood, you're going to lift it up and you're just going to set it in that cleat right there, like so. And believe me, this will hold forever. <laughs> um, and, and like I said, this typical application is um, this typical application is used for for headboards. You know, for a bed. Or if you have an extremely heavy piece that you want to hang on a wall, make sure you put the screws that you're hanging the original piece, uh, the original cleat on, you put it on, you know, into the studding. Because you, if you want the maximum amount of weight, you want to make sure you put it into the studding. Um, but a cleat is a wonderful idea if you're hanging something heavy. And like I said, this is 75 pounds. Okay, and it's an excellent idea. Now, I've seen them go a little higher, um, but 75 pounds is pretty safe. So. Okay, so a real quick down and dirty as to uh, hanging your signs. I hope it was helpful. Uh, when you order signs from us, we do send the, the salt tooth. On an occasion, we'll send, you know, <laughs> I'll show it to you again, the salt tooth, which holds 10 pounds. And on occasion, if it's a little heavier sign, we'll send, you know, the, the D-ring. And I'm sure you recognize these D-rings. Um, and, you know, on a rare occasion, if we're doing a, a large piece, which is really rare, we don't typically do the real, really big pieces. Uh, we'll work with the customer and putting in a cleat. Okay, so these are your options and consideration for putting things and hanging things on wall, on your wall, rather interior, exterior, uh, to make sure they're, secu they're secure and safe and hanging, not going to fall on somebody, which is obviously not a good thing, right? <laughs> okay. Um, if you have any questions, put it down inside the uh, the comments. I'm always reading the comments on all the videos, and um, I hope this was valuable for you and uh, made sense. I know it was a quick, like I said, really quick uh, down and dirty video. Um, but um, you can go to the article 
um, you know, hanging hardware on my blog at uh, uh, woodworkingbylpicustom.com, um, and you can select that uh, article, and it goes into a lot more detail uh, with regard to that that I can't throw into uh, to this video. It'll be too long, and I'm gabby enough as it is. All right, so um, again, this is Henry with Woodworking by LPI, and I appreciate your time and uh, looking at the video today, and I will see you in the next video.